take a look at our tail of the tape between Jamel Herring and Ladarius Miller. The reach advantage in favor of Miller, both weighed in at 134 pounds, but it is Herring who is seven years older than Ladarius Miller. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Sam's Town Live here in Las Vegas. Live on FS1, this is Premier Boxing Champions. The action begins with 10 rounds in the lightweight division brought to you by Mayweather Promotions. The three judges ringside are Robert Hoyle, Patricia Morse Charman, and Glenn Trowbridge. And the referee in charge, when the bell sounds, Vic Draculich. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the blue, the white, and the silver. His professional record stands at 13 wins, four of those by way of knockout against one blemish. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Memphis, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Ladarius Memphis Miller. to bring his adversary fighting out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing the red, blue, and the gold. As a professional, 16 wins, nine of those by way of knockout against one loss. Hailing from Gordon Heights, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Jamel Semperfo. Jamel Herring, the former United States Marine against Ladarius Memphis Miller, both of whom are on win streaks and have continued in their progression up the ranks in the lightweight division. As we are underway. Both fighters are southpaws. Jamel Harry coming off a win over Art Hovanesian back in February. Uh, Harry came up short against Denis Shafikov last July, but it was that defeat which Herring says did a lot for him. And incidentally, as you saw during the introductions and during the fighter meetings, Jay Leon, it was Herring who wore a t-shirt that says, chip on my shoulder. And he said that that's a response to people who think that that loss took a lot out of him. He still has plenty of desire to compete at such a high level. And he learned a lot from that. And he said that he really grew as a fighter because of that defeat. Yeah, uh, most, most fighters that take a loss, Really, it can either hurt you or help you. And, you know, for me, it helped me. And for Jamel, it helped them. So a lot of people learn from the losses that they take. And also for Ladarius Miller, he's coming off a win back in April as he took on Jesus Chewy Gutierrez. And it is... Miller, who's looked very impressive as well, uh, since his defeat at the hands of Rolando Chinea, he has won four straight, including three of those by stoppage. Yeah, he's really grown as a fighter. Uh, I think he's finding himself and getting more comfortable in the ring. Right now, I mean, we, we're just waiting to see what he's going to do here. It's a really good matchup between him and Jamel here. Well, Jay Leon, when this fight was announced, immediately you look at it. I mean, they are both. Uh, Herring is, is older and believes he's fought better competition, but they're in similar stages of their professional careers. Correct. Um, right now, this is the stepping or the turning point for them. Who's going to take it to the next level? You know, most got, most of these guys, I know uh, Herring was up for a title shot, you know, before his loss. So this can really bring them both back to the forefront of the game. And Ladarius Miller being active, but back comes Herring. Uh, Herring trained by Mike Stafford, who happens to be the trainer for Adrian Broner and Robert Easter Jr. and Rasheed Warren, former world champion. Really good, good, really good trainers from the Midwest. And also Ladarius Miller has a very quality world-class trainer, Rafael Ramos, who he believes he's learned quite a bit from. Yeah, really good. another good trainer as well. 30 seconds remaining in round one. Double hook there by Ladarius Miller. Vic Draculich will separate them. So a right hook that grazed the chin of Miller by Herring. Final 10 seconds remaining as we open up in the lightweight division. Jamel Herring and Ladarius Miller. You're watching PBC on FS1. 
Jay Leon, through the first round, how do you assess round number one? Uh, it's a chess match between both of them. Uh, similar styles, both southpaws. They both feel each other out. Trying to figure out who can land them first or who can get not get hit first. So it's kind of a chess match. What is high level athletic chess? Because if you gamble too much, and I know we're here in Las Vegas, but if you take too much of a chance with as high a level as these two individuals are, they will make you pay. Oh, most definitely. You can definitely take a loss with this gamble. And Ladarius Miller starting off more aggressive as he's shooting that straight left down the middle and doubling up on the jab. And, and those are just fundamental things that I'm sure you love to see as well, Jay Liam, when you double up on the jab and sort of pester your opponent. Oh, yeah, you know, the jab is one of the best and the easiest punches. Uh, you can't abandon the jab, and that's your measuring stick, so you must use it. It's a must. And incidentally, Jamel Herring, he was the captain of the 2012 United States Olympic team. He came up through the Marine Corps boxing and was quite successful, and that led him to being on the Olympic team. He's very proud of his being a Marine, which is why he wears uh, the red, gold, and the blue. Oh, as he should. I mean, obviously, uh, it's a lot of respect for him, uh, you know, representing our country in that way. So, uh, much respect to Jamel Heron, and he's representing very well. And also, speaking of representing, as you see on a door on the trunks of Ladarius Miller's Memphis, because he came from Memphis, Tennessee, and in his mind, he needed to get out of there to better his life, and he said coming to Las Vegas was the best thing for him. Oh, uh, yeah, listen, uh, a lot of us come from, from places from down under, man, and, you know, escaping that, those hoods and those neighborhoods um, is, is best, and you're able to come out and chase a goal and a dream. And Ladarius Miller caught the eye of both Floyd Mayweather and Leonard Ellerby, the CEO of Mayweather Promotions, and immediately they had to have him, and they put him under uh, their promotional banner. Yeah, which is a blessing, you know. Uh, to be under the, uh, the big banner Mayweather Promotions is great, you know. But just to be able to fulfill a dream is wanting to be a champion and a fighter, and you want it under one of the best in the world. Miller comes forward, but as he comes forward, Jamel Harry comes right back when it comes to a jab, and he lands a straight left right on the abdominal region of Miller. Yeah, it's kind of tit for tat. One may hit, but you come, one comes right back, so you got to stay ready. And they're both landing some really good shots. And Herrick is putting an emphasis on going to the body. He went to the body two or three times over this last 35 second span. Under 10 seconds remaining in round two as Vic Dracovich will separate them. Jamal Herrick, and what a shot there as both fighters picking up the pace as we near the end of round two. You're watching PBC on FS1. Welcome back to PBC on FS1. Mike Stafford speaking with Jamel Herring, who's a very proud family man. For more on that, here's our own Jordan Hardy. Ray, thank you. If you look at Jamel Herring's trunks once he's about to get up, you'll see the name Ariana on the back. Ariana is one of Herring's four children. She passed away at two months old from SIDS in July of 2009. It was a tough time for him and his family, but in 2012, while Herring was at the Olympic Games, the opening ceremony date fell on the third anniversary of her her death and he said that was a sign that she was with him he said he keeps her name on his trunks and he knows that she is always watching over him Ray thank you very much Jordan it's no secret that both Jamel Herring and Ladarius Miller are class acts and Herring a very proud father is a memory of his daughter and Ladarius Miller is coming forward though he was picking up things towards the end of that second round and he's sitting down in his punches more is Ladarius Miller yeah, Ladarius is now, uh, it was a good round, ended a good shot, Jamel landed at the end of the round, and so he's come, coming out trying to get that back. And moments ago, a big uppercut that landed for Ladarius Miller, as Jamel Herrick very wisely tied up, but it certainly caught the attention of the fans here in Las Vegas. When we asked Ladarius Miller about why we've seen this recent power surge, because three of his last four victories have come by stoppage, he said that at the age of 24, I'm growing into my body. Plus, I used to fight in a weight class above, and now I'm fighting in a weight class that I feel I'm comfortable at, and I'm strong and powerful. 
Yeah, he's growing. He's a man. He's growing into a man. So right now he's, he's finding what's best for him. And, and he's sitting down on his punches a lot more as well, shooting from his legs instead of arm punching. Gaining a lot of leverage behind his punches is Ladarius Miller. And Jamel Herrig using his jab, but Miller seems to be getting the better of the exchanges thus far. Yeah, it's a really good matchup. And right now, uh, it's, it's, it's the battle of the jab, jabs. And also, Jay Leon, when it comes to a fight of this magnitude, it's that one or two split seconds where you maybe have a momentary lapse in concentration, or you're really zeroed in, and you're able to find that opening so it can work for or against you. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, it's all about how you take it. But yeah, concentration, focus on the game plan is key. Under a minute remaining, a straight left that caught the side of the head of Jamal Herring. You know, Jamal Harry comes from training with that group of Mike Stafford, the, uh, the Bob Billions group, and Adrian Broner, Rasheed Ward, Robert Easter Jr. They're all very tight knit, a close family in there in the Cincinnati area. Yeah, um, a brotherhood, all about Billions. Um, all those guys are great fighters. Um, you know, they're, they're having a lot of success. And that's it, you know, they stick together. And that's what it's about. You know, we're all fighters at the end of the day, but we all had the same common goal, just different weight classes. And no doubt about it. Ten seconds remaining, round three. And these two gentlemen have a goal of rising up the ranks at 135 pounds, nearing the end of round three. This one's scheduled for 10. This is PBC on FS1. Welcome back to PBC on FS1. Jamar Herring being spoken to by Mike Stafford, his trainer since the Olympic Games. As there you see pictures and photos of Jamel Herrick, who was the captain on that team, had a brilliant amateur record, 82 and 14. And that led, there you see Dominic Brazil, Errol Spence Jr., Rasheed Warren, and those gentlemen, Errol Spence, and you go ahead and look at Rasheed Warren, both of whom have captured world titles. Warren has since, he lost that, his title, but Errol Spence recently having picked up a win over Kel Brook back in May. So even though that Olympic team didn't medal, they certainly have been very successful in the pro ranks, Jay Leon. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, most definitely. Uh, you know, and that's giving Jermail more fuel to the fire. You know, he wants to become champion just like his stable mate. So uh, it's, it's definitely going to make the best, that bring the best out of him. And also on that Olympic team, Sir Marcus Brown, who's moving up mm -hmm. at in the light heavyweight division, Terrell Gachet as well. So plenty of talent there on that 2012 United States Olympic team. All those guys are very talented. Dominic Brazil as well. But now round four, this one's scheduled for 10. Vic Draculich warning about punching behind the head, but sometimes, Jay Leon, that is inevitable because shots are coming when you dip your head down. It's almost hard to pull back in mid-motion. Oh, yeah. The fighter's in the, in, the, in the motion, and a guy slips or turns his head. It kind of happens sometimes. Rabbit punches. It just happens. What would you like to see out of Jamel Herrick? Because Darius Miller seems to be half a step quicker than Jamel Herrick tonight. Yeah, um, he's actually, uh, it's kind of like he's holding back. He's not using his jabs like he normally does. Um, yeah, he's holding back. He's letting L L Darius Miller take the momentum away from him. When you look at the aggression being displayed by Ladarius Miller, this is the the first southpaw that Miller has, a fellow southpaw that Miller has fought during the course of his career. And in preparation for that, he's gone and up ahead, and that's a straight left that connected, finding the chin of Jamel Herrig. He's worked with Joseph Allegale and also just multiple veterans that he feels have gotten him ready for tonight's matchup. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Ladarius Miller is locked in. And he is, he is not playing around. He's coming for whatever is out there for him. And so he, he, whoever you put in front of him is going to have a hard task. And Ladarius Miller told us during the fighter meetings, he had his first eight-round fight against Jesus Chuy Gutierrez. 
And then now this is a 10 round fight. He goes, look, I want to make that progression quickly. I had my first eight round fight. I felt fantastic. Now I think I could do it at 10 rounds and maybe after this one, I get a 12 round fight. So look, Terius Miller certainly wants to throw himself into the fire quickly. Listen, it's great. That's great. He's not taking no as an answer. And as a, at the end of the day, he wants the best of the best and the, the top of the game. So that's what he give, give it to him. And a straight left that caught the right side of the ribcage for Ladarius Miller, nearing the conclusion of the fourth round. You're watching BBC on FS1. Ladarius Memphis Miller being joined by Rafael Ramos, his trainer. For more on the story of the 24-year-old, we'll send it to our own Jordan Hardy. Ray, thank you. Miller is young and hungry to make it in the sport. Yesterday at the fighter meetings, he was telling us that at 17 years old, he made the move from Memphis, Tennessee to Las Vegas because he wanted to give himself the best chance to succeed. Looking back, he said he is glad he moved because he's grown physically and matured. And at 24 years old, you guys, this guy has some big dreams. He said he feels he can hang in the ring with the top guys in the 135 pound division. He said, actually, he's been waiting on this fight with Jamel Herring. He said that it's been on his radar and he said that tonight he is definitely going to take the advantage of this opportunity and make a name for himself. Ray? Thank you very much, Jordan. I think the theme to take away from the story of what Darius Miller has asked and you shall receive. He asked for this matchup against Jamel Herring and now he has it and he's been doing pretty successful and has, has really used his skills to get the better of Jamel Herring. Eric here through the first four rounds as we're in round number five. Yeah, um, I mean, hey, listen, if he's asking for these tough fights and he's performing and beating these guys, why not keep moving them up? You got a lot of fighters out there that don't like to fight tough guy position, and he's not one that's afraid to fight them. Well, Jay Leon, you know Ladarius Miller quite well, but there is a hunger, and you just see something in the eyes of Ladarius Miller, this ferocity that he is showing in his face, and he's demonstrated it with his performance this evening against Jamel Herring. Yeah, um, I mean, you know, hey, listen, you can get off task, you can lose focus. This kid hasn't lost focus. After he took his L, he got it together. And since then, he's just been on a straight ride and training, working hard every day, doing the most, the extras, everything a fighter should do. And it is okay to take a loss. And look, Jay Leon, bottom line, not everybody can be Floyd Mayweather 49 and 0. Let's be honest about that. Losses happen. It's how you respond from those defeats. Exactly. Listen, some of the greatest fighters took L's. At the end of the day, it's not about that. It's about what you do when you do take a loss. It can either hurt you or it can help you. And if it helps you, then you're, you're, you're strong-minded. You know what you really want, and you can go get it. 65 seconds left in round five. Ladarius Miller and Jamel Herring. When this matchup was announced, everyone was saying, my goodness, what a matchup and what a way to kick off the biggest week in combat sports history. As we, this is PBC on FS1 under a minute remaining. Yeah, man, this is a really good fight right here. And when they announced it, I thought it was a really good fight. I was excited to see it. Now that I'm commentating, I'm even more excited. And if you're Jamel Herring, as you alluded to earlier, Jay Leon, in previous rounds, it's almost like he is reluctant to let his hands go. The jab isn't coming out with as much frequency as you would like to see. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's not taking charge. Right now, he's letting the Darius Miller do, do what he wants to take. He's, Ladarius Miller is aggressive. He's using the jab, being first, and Jamel Herring's on the only treat. And Ladarius Miller coming forward, going with the combination to the head, and then goes to the body, but back answers Jamel Herring. You're watching PBC on FS1. Welcome back to PBC on FS1. The biggest fight in combat sports history is here. Mayweather McGregor begins Friday with the weigh-ins live only on FS1. Then Saturday, the prelims are on Fox. Coverage begins at 6 p.m. Eastern. And Jay Leon, they had the grand arrivals today outside of the T-Mobile Arena. Thousands of fans came out to say hello to Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor. And man, oh man, finally it is fight week. Fight week. It's the most exciting tough part of the, these Mayweather fights. Fight weeks, you get to see the fighters arrive. So it's a pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to it. This is round number six. This one's scheduled for 10 as Ladarius Miller continues. And a nice hook that landed for Ladarius Miller. And 
Darius Miller's walking down to Mal Herrig, a street left that connects. Herrig trying to go downstairs, and now they are engaging and going toe-to-toe -to -toe here on Toe-to-Toe -to -toe Tuesdays. Yeah, right now, Ladarius sees something. He sees something, and he's trying to go get it. Uh, Jamel Heron has to wake up in there right now. He has to wake up. He's really pretty much letting Ladarius do, do what he wants to do. A good right hook to the body by Jamel Herring. And Herring was coming into this fight really believing that he could do something. And he still has an opportunity to accomplish that. He spent five to six weeks in a training camp with both Terrence Crawford and Shakur Stevenson. And he said during that training camp, he learned quite a bit. Oh, yeah. It's, listen, preparation is key. And then with, the, with that talent right there that you named, he, he definitely learned something. He just has to wake up right now. You know, um, you know, maybe fighting an, an, another southpaw just as slick as him may be the, the difference, but he'll wake up. I mean, he has time, but he has to do it now. From a style standpoint, Jay Leon, does he need to think, is he maybe thinking too much as he sends it straight left? And now some blood that is streaming from the nose right outside the right nostril of Ladarius Miller. 65 seconds left, round six. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, right now, he he sees something now. I can see he's being more aggressive. He may think he hurt the Ladarius Miller. Right now, okay, he's, he's starting to pick it up, so he may see something. Well, the mental toughness for Jamel Herrick has never been in question whatsoever. Captain of the Olympic team, a me member of the United States Marines, so you have to have a certain level of mental toughness in order to propel yourself past those grueling activities. You have to have a mental toughness to box, period. Period. And, and the success that he's had so far, he, he has more than mental toughness, for sure. 30 seconds left. This is the best round as Jamel Herrig served two tours in Iraq, finishing after the Olympics in favor of his pro career. That's why he has the nickname Semper Fight. This is a good fight. This is a really good fight. And we are intensifying the action between Ladarius Miller and Jamel Herring. Round number six coming to a close. And here we see some of the action from this confrontation. You're watching PBC on FS1. Welcome back to PBC on FS1 here at Sam's Town Live, 20 minutes away from the famed Las Vegas trip here in Las Vegas. Ladarius Miller there being talked to by Rafael Ramos. If you're in the corner of Ladarius Miller, what are you telling him, Jay Leon? I'm telling him, keep doing what you're doing. Use the jab, bro. You know, shoot, sh shoot your short shots in the inside. You know, don't, don't, don't load up. You know, let the power come when it comes. But at the end of the day, land your shot and establish that jab. How important is it for Ladarius Miller to once again regain control? And what a shot there! Yeah, just you don't want to, you don't want Jamel Heron to get in the game with the experience that he has to try to, you know, he, he can take over. So you don't want that, and it becomes a closer fight from there. Now let's take a look and see how you have the fight scored. 58-56 in favor of Ladarius Miller, but Herrick, if he has another round, uh, sort of similar to what we saw in the fourth, and even towards the tail end of the sixth, he could switch it back and make it a closer fight. Definitely can. Like I said, the fight isn't over until it's over. Jamel Herrick pushing the pace. And you have to wonder, Jay Leon, as you were seeing more, some blood there on the right bicep of Ladarius Miller. That's because the stream and the nose is streaming of blood from Ladarius Miller. But Herrick's got to be feeling more confident. Yeah, yeah, right now he's winning a jab battle. And when you see blood, when I see blood, I go forward. I try to get more of it. So, yeah, you know, that may be feeling the fire as well. It's almost instinctual. Exactly. It's a jab fest right now. I mean, whoever wins this jab game wins this fight. What is telling about this matchup, Jay Leon, is we saw them engage and go toe to toe. The action intensified in the sixth round, but clearly both guys have respect for each other. Now we're seeing more of a chess match. It is changing when it comes to, they go ahead and, and work on the boxing aspect and then they just engage in a fight. This is what has been fantastic about this matchup. 
Yeah, I mean, you know what? That's that's versatile. These guys are adjusting. These guys are, are thinking in there, you know? You get one guy that's really aggressive, and that's all he knows. The whole fight is being aggressive. But here you got guys switching it up, you know, trying to show a different style, different a different look. And that's what both fighters are doing. That's just the intelligent fighter in both of them. And as Jamel Harry comes on in this fight here in the fifth, sixth, and the seventh, it is a sign of the veteran. And what a right hook to the body that you could tell shook up with Darius Miller. Yeah, right now, you know, the experience is kicking in. His letter rounds is kicking in. And uh, Jamel Heron is, is trying to pick it up. Well, he learned a great deal from that fight against Dennis Shafikov. So theoretically, it could be Henry believing, I'm going to take Ladarius Miller into those deep waters, which he hasn't necessarily uh, swam in, and maybe show him and welcome him into taking into a, going a longer fight. For sure, yeah, he does. He does have that experience in going longer rounds. So yeah, that may be it. You're watching PBC on FS1. Welcome back to PBC on FS1. Rafael Ramos in the corner of Ladarius Miller. And here's where it could have happened, where Jamel Herring landed there to begin the bleeding on the nose. Well, that's a good shot by Ladarius Miller, but Herring answered right back. And then we started seeing a steady stream from the nose of Ladarius Miller. It was a good shot. It was definitely a good shot. Good jab. Uh... Here they go, come back, coming back out with it. So, yeah, um, it's just, like I said, it's a battle of the jabs. Hey, don't forget to join us in the social media conversation, PBC on FS1. Again, PBC on FS1. Follow us at Premier Boxing and also at Mayweather Promo and at FS1. Check it out. A right hook there that landed on the button for Ladarius Miller. Good shot. Really good shot. If you're the other lightweights, you have to be taking notice of this matchup, Jalen. Yes, of course. Uh, these guys are the future of the, of, the, of the division. And no matter what, no win, win, lose, or draw from both fighters, they're still in the game. So you definitely got to watch and pay attention. And both fighters are testing each other. Ladarius Miller is testing Jamel Herrick when it comes to his conditioning. And he started off quickly, but Jamel Herrick showing that mental toughness and just biting down in his mouthpiece, coming forward, and is testing the will of Ladarius Miller. Yes, he is. Uh, right now, he's trying to see what the young boy has. Right now, he's... Uh, He's going to test his will, take him into deep waters. You know, it's, it's the later rounds right now, so you're going to see, you know, if that, that experience can play. 100 seconds left, round eight. Do you feel that Herrig is really coming on because the sixth, seventh, and eighth round have been more of Jamel Herrick fighting at the tempo and the pace that he wants? Yeah, I think it's corner tough. Listen, you got to pick it up. I mean, well, we have two rounds left after this, and uh, you definitely got to pick it up. I mean, you don't want to leave it in the judge's hands, and you want to go ahead and make a statement while you can. And for Ladarius Miller, he will, he's, this is his second eight round, or this is his first 10 round fight, but he's only been eight rounds once. He didn't even go the distance in that fight. He finished off Jesus Gutierrez sort of midway through the eight. So he's never been a full eight rounds. This is foreign territory for the 24 year old. Yeah, and he's looking good. He's looking good. Uh, you know, obviously we have two rounds left. So, you know, but he's looking good right now. He's looking poised and he looks like he's supposed to be here. Seconds remaining, round eight, scheduled for 10. Eric's moving forward, but if you're Ladarius Miller, these guys are looking for openings. It would be more advantageous for them to let their hands go. Yeah, they're both sharp right now. This is sharp boxing, you know what I mean? One little mistake can put you down on the canvas, so they're just both sharp boxing, working behind that jab. A right hook that landed right on the side of the ribcage of Ladarius Miller. Final stages were the end of the eighth. And in attendance here, there you see the former heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Man, you know it's a big fight week when Iron Mike Tyson <laughs> is in the house. He's enjoying himself, relaxing here at Sam's Town Live here in Las Vegas. And now we'll send it over to Jordan Hardy, who has more on Ladarius Miller.
Ray, thank you so much. I am over in the corner of Miller, and uh, I was listening to his trainer, Rafael Ramos, and he was telling him that he needs to watch out for those counters by Harry, that, that Harry's basically just waiting for, for Miller to throw something and then countering that. So he's telling him to have good backup defense and then also use his jab more and, and, and move up and down, which means go to the body and up top, not just up top because the body is what wears down a lot of fighters. So also, you guys were talking about this is, this is Miller's first 10-round fight, and I agree with you guys. He is handling it pretty well. Ray, back to you. Thank you very much, Jordan. And as Rafael Ramos, Jordan from Jordan's report, is it appears as though Herrick is doing a good job of timing Ladarius Miller, and Rafael Ramos certainly knows that. Yeah, of course, and that's the experience, you know, that's the scene. Using his eyes, seeing his shots. And, uh, you know, that's what you need. Your trainer sees things that you don't. Miller and Herrick both look equally as fresh here in the ninth round compared to that as they were in the first. Both fighters in really good shape. Both fighters won it. It is that will to win. Ray Flores, Jay Leon Love, Jordan Hardy, ringside. This is a battle at 135 pounds. And now that Darius Miller is backing up more, Earlier in the first three or four rounds of the fight, he was coming forward. So will that serve him well? Should he come back to being the aggressor? Jay Leon, what are your thoughts on the game plan so far of Ladarius Miller here in the ninth? Maybe he's trying to get, uh, you know, Jamel Heron has a little, his timing on right now. So maybe he's trying to break the time and break up, break his break his will to come forward and, and time Ladarius. So maybe that's, trying, that's what he's doing, moving around. Ring general shit. And going back to Jordan Hardy's report, we just saw two jabs that landed right on the abdomen of Jamal Herrick, and it was the jab which was being emphasized from Rafael Ramos to Ladarius Miller. Listening, listening to the instructions. by Jamel Herrig to the body of the Darius Miller. Herrig went downstairs to the body and Miller caught him upstairs right on the chin with the hook. The action once again intensifying here at Samstown Live. Yeah, these, guys going, these guys won it. This is a really good fight. Both yeah. gentlemen have a desire to move up the ranks here at 135 pounds and they are unloading The fans starting to come to their feet and appreciate what they are watching between Ladarius Miller and Jamel Harry. A beautiful right hook. We heard it here in our broadcast position by Jamel Harry. Double right hooks upstairs that were partially blocked by Harry. And Miller coming forward. They're both staying in the pocket and willing to engage. This is fun stuff. One more round remaining between Jamel Herring and Ladarius Miller. As we take a look at that big shot on the body, both of them landed a right hook. PBC on FS1. Welcome back to PBC on FS1. Mike Stafford shouting to Jamel Herring with a sense of urgency as we observe that big right hook. It was downstairs and then they came upstairs getting Ladarius Miller. Yeah, it was a really good shot, a really good combination. I think Jamel Herring may be a little tired. Round 10, this is the 10th and final round. It is the first time in the career of Ladarius Miller that he's gone 10 rounds. Jamel Herrig has gone 10 rounds once before. Good combination. Ladarius is still looking sharp and in shape. Ready. And Ladarius Miller has done a fine job of adjusting. In that sixth and seventh round, Herrig was gaining steam and trying to regain control of the fight, but Ladarius Miller has seized it once again. Yeah, he has. He's uh, really taking control now. Really taking advantage of, uh, of the mistakes of Jermail here. Ladarius Miller 
looking to elevate his record to 14 and 1. Jamel Herring is 16 and 1. And a big right hook upstairs that found its mark once again for Ladarius Miller. Really good shot. Just setting him up, putting him in a trick bag right now. Jamel Herring don't know what's coming. It's kind of like running into shots. And Ladarius Miller, when he finds his opening, he makes Jamel Herring pay. It's that little bit when Herring goes ahead and he lowers his glove when he tries to throw, but the hand speed of Ladarius Miller is clearly in his favor. And Ladarius Miller looking to close this one out in style. Yeah, he's definitely trying to close the show, trying to steal the show. And right now, they're both doing it. Jamel Heron looking at the clock. I think he's very tired. And also, it could be an indication that he wants to finish off and have that last minute and give it his all. Could be. Playing possum. But Ladarius Miller has looked sensational. And Jamel Harry continues to move forward and is digging down deep. Oh, yes. Ladarius Miller also looked up at the clock. <laughs> Both gentlemen are very aware of their surroundings inside that ring. Yeah, definitely. This is a good fight, man. And they're both putting on the show for the fans. This has been an entertaining affair between the two high-level lightweights that are looking to increase their standings at 135 pounds. Ladarius Miller, the 24-year-old, fighting out of Las Vegas by way of Memphis. Jamel Herring, the United States Marine, at 31 years of age, wants that next step in his career. What a fight between Ladarius Miller and Jamel Herring. Plenty of entertainment as they both fought at a high level. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we go to the scorecards. Here are your score totals. Judge at ringside, Glenn Trowbridge scores the bout 98-92. And Patricia Morse Charman and Robert Hoyle are in the coordinates 97-93 for your winner by unanimous decision. Ladarius Memphis Miller! And Ladarius Miller improves his record to 14 and 1. That is the biggest win in his professional career, and he should be elated. Jamel Herring gave it his all, but tonight it was the evening of Ladarius Miller.